video we're going to look at order of operations with fractions. Now order of operations, we've been seeing that for a little while. So remember the acronym that we're using here, we always say bed mass is generally what we're looking at. So B stands for brackets, E exponents, D divide, M multiply, A add, and S subtract. Now I've color coded it, so we do start with brackets first, and then we look at exponents second. Now this is going to be the last year where we won't really have a lot of exponents going on for you guys grade 9 they start to hit you but then divide multiply you'll notice that I wrote them in the same color and that's because division and multiplication are kind of grouped together so yes divide comes before the M and that's only because bed mass sounds better than BEMDAS okay so we're going to leave it as divide slash multiply and really all we need to know is that for division and multiplication they're grouped together and they're the same color because we just go in order from left to right. Now one nice thing to notice is remember I said earlier in our videos we don't actually ever really divide fractions, do we? We always end up writing them as a multiplication. So even though, yes, we are dividing, if I get rid of my division and write it as a multiplication, then I don't have that division, and so really now I just have BEMASS. But if you say that, people are going to think that you might have some kind of weird speech impediment, so that's why you're probably still going to say bed mass. But really, there is no more division because every division is written as a multiplication. Okay, now same thing, add, subtract are written in the same color, and that's because um, it does not matter what order, or sorry, we want to do these ones in order from left to right. So just like we read a book from left to right, we perform our operations left to right for adding and subtracting. Okay, so grouped colors means you go with those ones left to right. So let's do a couple of examples. Okay, so the first thing I'm looking at here is if I had blue, I would do blue for brackets. I don't have any blue for brackets, so there's no brackets anywhere in this expression. Uh, no exponents either. So the next thing I'm going to work on is my multiplication and division. So this is an addition. This is a multiplication. So I need to work on this portion first. So I'm going to do that multiplication between 5 over 6 and 1 half. So looking at the numbers across from one another, I actually don't have any cross reducing here. So no cross reducing for me. So it's going to be 5 times 1, which is 5, and 6 times 2, which gives us 12. And then everything else that I haven't done yet, so I haven't done anything with that three quarters and I have not done any addition yet, those get written down below again. So now I'm on to my addition. I need to find a common denominator for 4 and 12. Well, actually, that's kind of easy. I know I can turn 4 into 12 by simply multiplying numerator and denominator by 3. And so that's going to give me 9 over 12 plus because I still haven't done my addition yet, plus my 5 over 12. And now they're both written over 12, which is great. 12 is my denominator, 9 plus 5, and 9 plus 5 gives me 14 over 12. Now, before I just write that as my final answer, I'm always going to double check for lowest terms and change any mixed numbers into improper. So 14 over 12, it has a common factor. It has a common factor of 2. So I'm going to divide numerator and denominator by 2, and that now gives me 7 over 6. Okay, 7 over 6, that's in lowest terms, but I do want to change this value into a mixed number. So 6 can go into 7 one full time, and there would be one piece left over. So my final answer would be 1 and 1 6. So that whole expression that we had before equals 1 and 1 6. Okay, so I did the multiplication before I did the addition because that's how we do our order of operations. This one here, 7 over 8 divided by 3 quarters is equal to, or sorry, minus 1 fifth. So no brackets, no exponents, but I do have some division. So I'm going to do this division first. Now this division, I actually don't want to divide. So I'm going to uh, just quickly here rewrite it as 7 over 8 times, because I'm going to change my uh, division to a multiplication. And then I got to flip my second fraction upside down, so that's my reciprocal. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to instead write this one as 7 over 8 times 4 thirds minus 1 fifth. Okay, so I still have to multiply before I do my subtraction. And I do have some uh, cross reducing I can do here. 4 and 8 have a common factor of 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 gives me 2. So what I'm left with now is 2 times 1, which is 7. Or sorry, 7 times 1, which is 7. Goodness gracious. And then seven, uh, 2 times 3 in the denominator. 2 times 3 in the denominator. And that gives me my 6. Okay, so I have 7 over 6 minus 1 fifth. Okay, now I am subtracting. And in this subtraction, I need to make sure I have a common denominator. So a common denominator for 6 and 5 would be 30. So I'm going to multiply uh, the numerator and the denominator by 5 in that fraction. And in this fraction, multiply numerator by 6 and denominator by 6. And that's going to give me equivalent fractions with 30 as the denominator. So I end up with 35 over 30. And that's subtracted by 6 over 30. And we did all that work to find 30, so it stays in our denominator. And we've got 35. That doesn't look like a 3. Let's try that again. We've got 35 minus 6, and that gives me 29 over 30. Okay, And that would be our final answer is 29 over 30. No common factors between 29 and 30. 29 is a prime number. Okay. All right, let's look at something that's got a little bit more going on. One half times, and then in brackets we've got one half plus three quarters. And then outside the brackets we've got divide by three quarters. So here I need to start with the brackets first. So even though the brackets it has addition, I have to do that addition before the multiplication because it's inside that set of brackets. So I'm going to add those two together. Now I'm going to move my work off to the side a little bit. I need a common denominator for 2 and 4. So a way I could write that is 2 over 4 plus 3 over 4. I just rewrite my 1 half as 2 fourths, still the same thing. And that's going to give me 5 over 4. Now, your first instinct might be to write that as 1 and 1 quarter. And you could, but if I write that as 1 and 1 quarter, I need to use this value right away. This is what my bracket value becomes. It becomes 5 fourths. And when I rewrite everything back in the same order that it was before, I'm going to need to divide and multiply. And in, if I'm doing any division and multiplication, I don't want mixed numbers. This is one time where you're allowed to leave your answer as improper, because otherwise you just have to change it right back, and that seems silly. Now, I have a multiplication and I have a division. So yes, in bed mass, right, the D does come before the M, but we said we can divide or multiply in any order from the left to the right. So I'm really doing this multiplication first. Now, I want to remind you, I also said we really shouldn't be doing any dividing. So I'm going to get rid of this division right away. So I'm going to rewrite this as 1 over 2 times. I still have my 5 over 4. Okay, But instead of dividing, I want to multiply. And so I need to take the reciprocal of that 3 quarters, and I'm going to write it as 4 thirds. I'm allowed to do that. And now, all I'm doing is multiplying. So I can do any cross-reducing between any numerator and any denominator. So I see, oh, I've got a 4 and a 4. They have a common factor of 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. This makes it quite simple. So my numerator is, is 1 times 5 times 1, and that's going to give me 5. And then in the denominator, I've got 2 times 1 times 3, and that gives me 6. And there would be my final answer, 5 over 6. Okay, One more. So same idea here. I've got uh, 9 over 10 minus, and then in brackets, 1 half plus 4 elevenths times 1 and 1 tenth. So I need to go into the brackets first. Okay, because I have to do brackets before I do anything else. And once I'm inside the brackets, I now have an addition and a multiplication. So inside the brackets, I need to then follow bed mass again. 
So I have to do this multiplication before I can do the addition. So what I'm really going to be starting on is this multiplication right here between 4 elevenths and 1 ten and 1 tenth. Now 1 and 1 tenth, I actually don't want 1 and 1 tenth, do I? So let's take a second to rewrite that. 1 and 1 tenth is the same thing as 1 times 10, so the whole number times the numerator, or sorry, the whole number times the denominator plus the numerator, and then we still have that denominator of 10. This gives me 11 over 10, okay? So you don't need to erase yours. You could just write it underneath, but I'm just going to rewrite this here. I do not want to clear the frame. That would have been bad. I'm going to write that as 11 over 10 instead of 1 and 1 over 10, okay? I have some nice cross-reducing that's going on here. 11 and 11 are the same number. So divided by 11, I get 1. Divided by 11, I get 1. 4 and 10 have a common factor of 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Okay, so it's getting a little squishy in there, and my apologies. But I've got 2 times 1 for the numerator, and that is 2. And then I've got 1 times 5 in the denominator, and that gives me a 5. Okay, now I'm still going to rewrite everything that I had from before. I still have that set of brackets because I still have that operation of addition inside the brackets. So the only thing I've done so far is just the multiplication of 4 over 11 times that 1 and 1 tenth, and it turned into 2 over 5. If you would like, feel free to pull the extra work you are doing out to the side of your page. Right, You can pull your work out to the side of the page, and then you don't need to have all these scribbles going on here. And you can just identify, I'm doing this operation first, and it turns into that. And you can do all of your work off on the side of your page here, where it's probably not going to get in your way as much. Okay, So I now need to continue doing my brackets. I've got 1 half plus 2 fifths, so I need common denominators for those guys. So 1 half would be the same thing as 5 over 10, and 2 fifths would be the same thing as 4 over 10. So if I take my fraction on the left, multiply numerator denominator by 5, that gives me my 5 over 10. And if I multiply the fraction on the right, numerator by 2, denominator by 2, that gives me my 4 over 10. 5 over 10 plus 4 over 10 is 9 over 10. Okay, so what I've changed this set of brackets into is 9 over 10. I have no more operations left inside the brackets. I just have that one value. So the brackets can go away. And I still have this 9 over 10 minus, and I just rewrite that. Now I have 9 over 10 minus 9 over 10, and that seems really easy. It's the same number subtracting itself. And 9 minus 9 is... 0. So I get 0 over 10, which really is just 0. So there we go. That's order of operations. So remember your order of operations. Brackets, exponents, divide, multiply, add, subtract. Dividing and multiplying, we go in order from left to right. But with fractions, you can actually write all your division as multiplication. So there's really no need to do any dividing. You should be only multiplying. Okay. So there's order of operations with fractions.